Welcome back everyone to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. People Tsar um, of Transmir and Vladimir the Third Lover. Did you know he's a people tsar? But right now, we're redoing or not redoing, but doing Siberian scientists. Look at this guy, Alexander Kazimbek. Handsome, I know. But we can go to war with Mongolia because they have some of our cores. Most specifically, uh Minusinsk. So we want to go to war with them. We want to enjoy ourselves. And hopefully I don't have to use consequence for this one. Because this one is uh It'd be kind of annoying, trying to kill these guys off. But, you know, that's okay. They're by themselves. Red Mongolia, radical socialists, they have the build out the immigration. They have the 8th JK. They have the Nomadic Society, which is not... It's good. Uh, supply consumption is very good. Uh, work of the land is not bad either. They have Scourge of the Steps, which is, makes it a little more difficult. It's, that's pretty strong. Reconciliation of the Bagdor Lama, not bad. They also have the Benevolent Crimson Mukali. Interesting. The unity under our Red Religion... Excise or excise to the parasites, not bad, not great though. Return to the pastoral Akkadian idol. I don't know how to pronounce it. Idol, idol, and the true red con. That's kind of cool. So, uh, these guys want peace. I don't care. It's fine with us for now, at least. Um, and we did. We'll talk about these capital things later. We're still trying to integrate the People's Republic of Turkestan, which would be really nice once we get that done. Ah, look at this! Yay! Yay! And now we can get that done. Wait, we can do this one yet? Oh, it'd be peace. God dang it. Um, develop Nova to basic airfields. Well, let's go and do this one first. United Front Forums. We'll expand uh, the industry around Lake Baikal. Get uh, three, two civvies and a free military, fa military factory. Sure. Why not? This war will probably last a while. But we do have a couple planes here, do we? Yes, we do. Uh, go there. Have fun bombing them. It should be all right. Sure and sure for now. Not that wow. Oh, the war of the Roman alliance. Okay, whatever. No cares. So let them do their thing. We're going to continue trying to get more guys here. Do some anti-partisan stuff. The Japanese Empire is doing pretty well with a whole bunch of well craziness going on there. German Empire is doing okay. They actually got pushed back a little bit here in France, and the Canadians are doing very well against the Union of Britain, while the German Empire, I guess, is, is fighting the Roman Alliance too, or Empire, or whatever it is. Oh, Belarus is here. They look very tri- or what are things here? They look very triangular. Very triangular. And I'll keep doing that just for more popularity, because everyone loves totalism. If you're not a totalist, you're doing it wrong. So, uh, can you all three of you go here? Take them out, maybe? Have a good old time? Anatoly Pepeliev. Pepeliev. We have no fuel. God dang it. What's the point of using these trucks if they have no fuel? Because they're training our ships. That's right. That is 100% right. I don't know how I got this railway gun, though. Oh. That's probably the exact wrong thing you don't want to do right now. Bruh. Like, why would you do that? Gilles Hot? I don't know how to pronounce that. Urga. You and me, we want to go to Urga. Some of these places are going to be very hard to break through, but that's okay with, with us for now. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We're building up a lot of roads. Um, maybe this wouldn't be bad. I do want to build more just roads in general, just because like, they're really good for us to build. So. I like infrastructure. I like building a lot of infrastructure up. Um, 80% not bad. Pretty nice. Keep going, keep going. Cut them off, cut them off. Sure for now, I guess. You should be able to get down there faster, though. Urga. Yeah, we should, we should have them on the ropes. Be nice. At least over there. This is going to be a pain in the butt to get through, though. Of course, I did change up some of these planes here too, but whatever. Where go? Where's the next capital? Oh, look at that. Nice. That's exactly what we wanted. I'll just go there, and then you guys can go down through here. Very good, very good. Oh, it's probably going to go there too. Erin Hot? Yes. Ah, beautiful. Where's it? Oh, Lanzu is the capital. Oh my god, it's going to take forever, ain't it? 
But we're still expanding the industry around like by call. Of course, we're going to do your tractor plants too, if you're worried about that, because that'll be very nice too. Armor technology production cost goes down by 50%. Four more military factories, plus four more military factories, plus 50 more steel. That's pretty god darn nice. Yeah, it's actually very nice. Radar, 1941 of course, not bad. Eh, I'll grab some of that. Because we could probably use some some you know refineries and whatnot. Because right now we're not we're lacking a, just a little bit. I'll just go there. I do that. We could have, we have been researching some medium tanks, so. Uh, what you guys do there and then there. Okay, why do they keep going to war with other people? This makes no sense. Why why you do this? Stop it. I want all the territory for myself. Like, it literally makes no sense for you to do that right now. Which I think is really stupid. But, this is what we're pretty much going to be doing. A changing attitude. Next. Most people uh, in Russia bit. are tired of the constant wars and wish to end the fighting. With the recent victory of regime, we can deliver peace and prosperity to the people who have suffered for so long. Russia must never fight herself again. Greer transmitter ambitions with Russia reunited. Well, oh, just you wait. Now the government is established. We'll look forward for new targets. Ah, oh, yes. Very good. Very good. Planes, planes, and... We don't have any casts. Close air support. Oh yeah, we do this right there. I just had it. Duh. Um, go with twenty-five. Go with more of that because we're, we're going to need more of that. In all honesty, um, artillery. We're going to need quite a bit more artillery too. We're going to need some serious rubber. Holy crap! But I wanted to go to war with Persia because why not? They're only ally with Armenia. And we can use our horses here too. So should we do relatively decently. Oh, okay. Well, we can't reclaim these on so yet. We're going to get this one then. Let's control Somalia. I figured these guys would be okay to use. Um, on hills, we should get an advantage. Five percent, five percent more. Pretty nice. Nice. There we go. Hold some massive parties, but we're okay. Oh, wait. Well, my apologies. We're still the capital of a lot of stock. Um, industrials in Russia. Well, I can always go back, maybe and. Uh, basically, start the trials. Huh. Uh, figure out where we actually want all of our guys. So, uh, yeah, let's get through some of this war first and see what happens. Going just to Tehran. They're doing pretty well against these guys, but with us coming storming in on storm, storming on in, I don't know about that. If we went to war with the back now. Would we be, really be ready? Probably not. In all honesty. We have the manpower for now. Industry not bad, too bad either. 80%, 80%. Down with the Japanese influence. From the foundation of our state, Japan was the closest ally. However, things have changed. The influence of Japan is becoming more and more overwhelming, which makes us vulnerable. Let's make the right choice once for all. We either join the Japanese officially or to cut ties with them completely. We don't need the Japanese. Benefits are nice. Yeah. Good ties with them. Good calm. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Rasht, Tabriz. So where's the capital now? Shiraz, huh? Look like at Varan's lost probably a bunch against the Ottomans. They only lost 22,000 to us, so. Overall, not bad. I mean, they weren't really ready for the war against us. Can't blame them. I just want you to go down just encircle them as much as you can. So we'll see. Alter, also track plans. Russia reunited, which is nice. After that, Siberian war though is very god awful. Oh my goodness, it's so bad, so bad, so bad. And then we'll go through all this. Reclaim Eastern Europe. That would be bad. The entire Russian states under our command now. It's time to reclaim our soil in Eastern Europe from different artificial states. You can join the Entente. Oh, I just cracked my foot too, on our own. I'll do that too. I did talk about reindustrializing re Russia, but we'll see. Gatherenberg. Deal with the Ukrainian Navy. Industrializing Central Asia. Central Asia. It's an excellent place to build up some industry as it lacks compared to other areas of the state, so let's build up that there region. As we're taking up the Persian's legacy is named as part of the current security reforms of the 20s. Many cities were renamed the names and some bore reminders of the monarchical past of Russia. Others were called in the German manner the worst enemy of Russia because of the great changes the last 20 years took place. Now that currency's identity is considered highly controversial, as is in politics, it may be time to restore the old names of these cities and of these names they saw the glorious times in the history of the motherland. Under the new names they experienced only the instability and crises of the young Russian democracy. Let's turn to another reflection of the glorious uh, times. But democracy in Russia and its cause will live on. Let's go with that one. Serio Neva. Now that the center revived the monarchy in Russia, there are still reminders of the revolution in 1917. 
Some geographical features still praise the revolution, while others that were named after symbols of our great country lost their original names after the revolution. If we want the second Russian Empire to be worthy successor to the first, we need to erase a reminder of the revolution. Return the historical name of Cedar Peter City. Yeah. So now we can also do uh, Russian unification. Oh. When Kolchak first started trans, we merely brought with him all a manner of exiles, which political beliefs were much too much for a normal Russian society. One such group was a union of young Russia, young Russia, also known as the Mladorosi. Professing a mixture of Tsarist monarchism and Bolshevik communism, the group was able to come into power in the aftermath of Kolchak's death following a bloody reactment of the civil war. Parts of the Red Tsar emerged victorious and united Russia against all odds. Not control over all of Russia, the power of the Tsar and the Soviets became the law of the land. Not content with just Russia itself, Vaz Kazimbek has declared the liberation has just begun. Only when the Tsar's borders of order are claimed and the advancement of the workers of the Tsar be stopped. Tsar and Soviets. Unite Russian people, I'm counting on you. Yeah. And yeah, so we're going to go back to war with these guys. Uh, I haven't gotten war with them yet, uh, even though we did earlier. Um, as we're industrializing Russia very, hopefully very, very, very quickly. Uh, like I said, that one earlier. Um, so there'll be quite a few of these. Building up White Russia. That'd be nice, but we can't quite do that yet. <clears throat> Looks like we're going in. Also, there's been a slight update since between this uh, fade in, fade out, and the uh, earlier half of this, but bringing back the imperial names from the Romansk and other smaller towns. Out of the February Revolution and the fall of the Russian Empire, the administration started pursuing tsarification uh, uh, of various historical cities, of course. Especially city names. A prominent example being Romanov na Marman. Now the empire has returned and their situation looks more stable day by day. Those cities shall be returned to their original names. Romana, Romanov na Marman shall return on our maps at once. This one. Memory of Tsar Sasha shall never perish. Cool. Anything else here, here? Probably not yet, no. Uh, on our own. Russia should not be a lapdog to any other nation. It's time we form our own alliance and no longer dance the pipe, pipes of others. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Here. The foundation of our state, Japan was our closest ally. However, things have changed. The influence of the Jap Japanese is becoming more and more overwhelming, which makes us vulnerable. We must make the right choice and once for all. Either we join the Japanese officially to completely contest with them, like I read earlier. Uh, we don't need them. Pretty much. Uh, anything else here? Exhort heroism. We need to integrate all these guys, of course, but we'll get there eventually. As we're doing some of this stuff too, which is very nice. As we'll be invading Iran. As you saw, we're going to invade the Islamic State of Afghanistan. I'm industrializing Central Asia. Central Asia is an excellent place to build up some industry as it lacks compared to other areas of the state. Let us build up the region. Yeah, sounds fine with me. Um, all this auto bypass reclaiming Central Asia, the Mongolian issue, the China policy. Uh, the Chinese region is now in a state of civil war. Various warlords and governments try to establish control all over the territories of former uh, Qing Empire. Both Germans and Japanese try to draw China into their sphere of influence. However, Russia lost claims of the Chinese region, which could choose to side and support and to support and try to help establish control all over China and have a strong ally as well. Choosing a name for a faction. The various suggestions to the government how we should call these are new names. Moscow Accord, Fourth International. Uh, we're red, but we're still like tsarists. The Moscow Accord. Now, as we're doing quite well down here, to do like. Um, it is, of course, 1941. We're doing well. Resources would be nice. Anything over here? Artillery. Okay. Borov uh, Shalov. Do that there. Do that too. Invite Illyria. Offers us an alliance. Um, you know what? That could be bad. We try it anyways, why not? Let's get some of this here too. Construction 5. Construction would be nice. Fuel. Yeah, we're going to need that fuel, man. We definitely going to need that fuel. What are we going to do next after this one? In regards to one of the following. Oh, uh, there it is. Refuse. They vow outrageously refuse the request to form an alliance. If they're not coming to the discussion table, then war seems like the only option for this problem. We, for now, we will wait for one words, but Russia will return. Either we'll create a desired territory, probably both, for claiming the Caucasus. The entire Russian state is under our command now, it's time to reclaim our soil in the Caucasus from different in insurgent states. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many boards boys will actually really need, but whatever. Oh, there goes the bet. We're out of bet. You guys actually went there, maybe? 
We're getting close. Get, getting rid of them. Central Asia. There's not a lot here. We'll do your old tractor plants, I guess. If we have to. You guys aren't very much there. Go in there. Pop them out. It's kind of like, spread, like a cancer. Killing him. That's all I ask. Ah! Oh. No, we're taking all that. Well, it looks like we gotta go to go to the Ottoman Empire then. They wanna be stupid, then okay. These are our demands, and we're gonna take them. It's not very good over here. Because I want these guys to go over here as well. Um, the Caucasus are still under their rule. Actually, can we go to war with the Georgians, maybe? We need more bombers. We need a lot of military factories. Um, let's start building up quite a few more of them. One, two. Quite a few does not include just two, but whatever. Um, your old tractor plants reclaim Eastern Europe. The entire Russian state is under our command. Now it's time to reclaim our soil in Eastern Europe from different artificial states. China policy, forced open the straits. Yeah. With the central Asia and the Caucasus region under our control, we can look to the wealthy and strategically important in the Middle East. Our presence will tip the scales of balance in the region. Our armies will need to be prepared for the war in difficult mountainous terrains. Of course, with this one as well. So, we'll get there. And here we're at taking up part of China, because, well, why not? As we're trying to finish off Afghanistan as well. Because Ottoman Empire is really sucking against Stalin. Or, uh, Yosef. And then we'll take them out later, too. Because I want Istanbul or Constantinople. I think we deserve it. Ah. Afghanistani. Thank you, Afghanistani. Hey, India. Afghanistan was always a vital important for geopolitical designs. We fought the great game of the British forward in the past, after all. If we can conquer the way to India, we'll be secured. Indian policy. Best bet to ensure that our interests are respected when it comes to Indians of Canada to support one of the three sides of Africa supremacy there. Eh, we'll see. Mmm. Sure. Why are they canceling their non aggression pack? What's wrong with them? Those stuff, eh? So we're over the decision one group now. Should be too bad to take them out. Honestly, the chance of wars for them is not great, but for us, it's like, whatever. We're like, whatever. Should be able to take them out relatively easily. Bro, why y'all canceling your non aggression packs? Roman Alliance, Roman Alliance. They're still fighting the, uh, the second Valkyrie. What the heck, guys? I wish these guys would just hurry up and win. I want to take out the Ottoman Empire, because I didn't realize we had a non aggression pack with them, so that's why we're not going to war with them just yet. So, yeah. Um, in the meantime. Just in case. Takes forever just on these people, but whatever. Whatever. These guys are struggling over here too, because it's infantry and there's like no supply and it sucks. Red Afghanistan, after a long fight with Afghans. We launched full on offensive, forced the Afghan army to surrender and flee to the mountains. Kabul and the major roads are now in our hands, but the countryside is still rallying against us. We may have a large fight on our hands should we attempt to occupy the so called grave empire of the graveyards. Huh. Huh. Like go in. Is that like impossible or Fall of Sacramento? Nice. Oh, it's the Reds won. They always win. We'll get them eventually. Not super concerned about that. This is disgusting after the peace deal with Iran. Um, this is taking forever. What is this? Oh, the Soviet Republic. Soviet Republic. Right done. Tito's here. Oh, I forgot to do this too. We are now spy master. Nice. Unibrin is still barely holding on. My God. 
good, good, good. Better, better, better. Get down here, get these guys off. Some of these guys will all be starving, hopefully. At least, not all starving, but most of them will be lacking supplies. Bad. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Now I'm just gonna tell you to hold. Come back over here. Cause the non-graduate back with them expires in August. August. Yeah, next month. Ah, look at the Unibrin. As we're slowly forming another army. Ah, Sejuan, thank you for playing. More China, more yes. Good. Oh, and you guys over here, just in case, to just maybe begin planning the invasion. Because they're going to finish up very soon. Um, the Georgian question. With Georgia is not large, wealthy, nor opposing any threat to our state, it's a matter of principle. This land is stolen from us during the Valkyrie, soon be back in the fold uh, with the rest of them. I went one heck of a war with... Uh, Germans. German boys. Nice. Are these guys killing each other? Sakim? Ah. We're almost done with that. I didn't realize that earlier, too. My bad. How are we looking? How are we doing? Aftermath of the Siberian War is over. Good. I should have quite a bit of manpower, should they? Oh no, never mind. Okay then. That's good to know. Nice. Um, quickly meet some Europe, they fight like Russia. Invading them. China policy course. I don't like that would be a peace for all these. I really don't. Let's do his knees, join the Entente, of course not. Bring them to his knees. Been in their false game, mock rush for Arnloff. So I'm going to send Russian troops to Helsinki once again. We are a neighbor of them. Wow. Germany took a massive bite out of them. Oh, they don't exist because it's Sweden. Oh, my bad. Uh, they're probably going to win here now. Yep. Jibala Shimada says no. Well, it is August. Let's see if we can cancel it now. I just want to get this one done first. Ten more days. Good Baku, that's nice. Um, Bhutan? Sure, why not? Take a big old chunk out of China. Kinda nice. Maybe we move faster through, because this is a lot of militia, just, a lot of it's just empty space. These guys are actually a little better than it was before. So 18 combat now, but you know, still whatever. Go with all of them. Oh no, Jabal Shamar has been called in. Whatever are we going to do? Go straight to Baku. That's right. There was um from the propaganda that we don't really need anymore. The national focus has been set, which kinda sucks, but whatever. Nice, there we go. That's okay. Clean up all the Ottoman stuff, and then we'll use our armies to go push this way too. Because we can. We'll have to start working on some of that fuel. Integrate Tuva? Yes, please. Integrate the Red Mongol Nation? Oh, yes, please, as well. Nice, you guys all done here. You're almost there. Nice. 
Honestly, I wish you could just delete these guys. I just don't understand. Go on in it again. The bent. Time to get through all them, that's not bad. Radar 42, better artillery. We need better infantry equipment as well, but I'm gonna forget about that probably. Kapan. So, nope. Breakaway to a comic called White Rush was claimed in the partitions of old, only be taken by the Kaiser. We will not lose lands this time. Resolving the Ukrainian problem, powerful German armies have been protecting Ukraine from annexation since October Revolution. However, now that we're back apart, just reunite Ukraine with the Russia is now uh, possible. Improving the Caucasus. <coughs> Lands of the Caucasus are rich with oil, which is why Germany wanted to have a tight grip on the area. With the region under control, we can improve the industry for the people who have long suffered there. Deal with the Ukrainian Navy. Sebastopol is a large family, so we decide what to do with it, whether it would be repurposing it or selling it off for income. And deal with the Ukrainian Navy. So the vegetables a large fleet, so we can decide what to do with it, whether we purposing or still offer income. No, I read that one. But about White Russia. The development of White Russia is one that hasn't seen too much development in recent years, so we must work on improving the area. Approaching the Polish. The Poles are rebellious people, and therefore must be tamed rather than crushed. We extend the industrial project to the region to give them the aid they desire, uh, or need, expand the Baltic. The Baltic states are back under control, should we continue in Russification, but instead develop the industry in the region, so they are satisfied with our rule, of course. Yeah, we got the Red Star triumphant. Even though we were, we were first laughed at, are out, out of the international sphere, we've managed to achieve the goal we've been striving for for years. False tyrants such as Viktor Baidalakov has been discarded of, and the will of Vos's cousin Beck and the worker Tsar has triumphed. We have reclaimed the legacy of the Tsars, however, our work is not yet done. The liberation of our rightful homeland has only just begun. The will of the workers and the people of Tsar have triumphed, and now we can reclaim the legacy of the Tsar and the Soviets. Cool. Uh, restoring the borders of the Tsardom. Now that we reclaim Russia, we're going to focus on reclaiming the lands that we have since been lost. Ever since we were just a rump state in Siberia, we had dreams of achieving, of reclaiming every inch of the old Tsardom, and now we finally tools to make our dreams a reality. Very cool. Secure Manchuria. While we may have lost control of Manchuria in the past, we're now in a position to strike the false Republican government of Manchuria and reclaim an integral part of our empire. We take our Romanian lands. Wallachia and Moldavia are rightful Russian lands. Those rightful Russian lands must be taken back and time to bulldoze the government of uh, Romania and liberate our lost lands. Invade Persia. Which you did earlier, but I don't know why I said this one. To better secure a position in the Middle East, we must secure the Caspian Sea. Persia must be taken out. A connection between the Central Asia and the Caucasus must be made. A complaint, compliant government must be set up in Tehran. Take back Alaska. We fools should never give up Alaska, but that now is abundantly clear. Now with the Americans wrapped up in a civil war, we're in a position to strike Alaska and reclaim a foothold in Americas, and Russia's natural borders are restored. Do we need Alaska for this one? Oh God. We do. The rightful borders of Russia have now been restored. Our nations will hold once again. With the birthright restored, we can now ensure our position of hegemony is now secured all over all of Eurasia. Glory to the time. And here we are at everybody. I just kind of like, I don't know, gave up near the end here because it just took so long and so grindy. It's 1944, almost 45. But with the Soviet Russian Empire. And I finished off all the other focuses. And uh, yeah, this is us. We're the Moscow Accord. A red Moscow Accord. Even though it's hard to tell with the Third International, which should have died earlier, but whatever. If you enjoyed the campaign, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.